You're looking at the sad aftermath of a backyard wedding in Massapequa that was designed to dazzle. A Friday ceremony with tent, balloons, and these professional level illegal pyrotechnics that took flight and startled neighbors on Riverdale Avenue. It was about 11.30, and uh, from the right side of that house, they had fireworks. And they were loud. He lives across the home from this man, 39 year old Thomas Giglio. You're looking at Giglio's wedding night mugshot. Police say this groom ordered up elaborate fireworks to cap his wedding. Just nonstop explosions. Neighbor Chris Burns' home security video shows officers arriving and the wedding guests quickly departing. His camera did not catch the fireworks taking place above this canal in the back. Well, I'm just a lot of cop cars. There was there was cop cars lined up all the way over here. Some neighbors say they feel sorry for Giglio, that a warning or a future court date and fine might be sufficient, but going to jail on his wedding night. It's a guy's wedding night, and I don't feel that he should have got arrested. I do feel bad for him. It's the law is the law, but a slap on the wrist sometimes is, you know, understandable. But police say what justifies a felony fireworks possession charges all the evidence. They say leftover were about 50 mortars plus a stockpile of other pyrotechnics, like something an entire town might put on. Some neighbors saw embers hitting roofs and lawns. I was worried for the cause. Fireworks in a, in a neighborhood where you have all these houses and everything, you could have had some real problems. Weddings are full of picture perfect moments, but this in the slammer snap of the groom, he could have done without. In Massapequa, Nassau County, Dave Carlin, TV 1055.